Going to die though. What are you doing? They're just massacring them! <laughs> oh my god! What are you doing, Velote? You're just like on fire! Shit! Right, well, they're dead. Units! Wow! I mean, that's a. That is a massacre! Well done, guys! Credit to you guys. You have done. Fu oh. oh no! no, no, no. You stop, stop! 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 Guys! 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 Seriously! Seriously! Uh, just get into position. Start throwing spears. Just need my dude to run around a bit. Massacre the remaining remnants on that hill. Oh, no, 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 no. Just annihilate the fuckers. Right, massacre as many of those guys as possible. Right, they're gone. God, to fill the heart of the enemy. The enemy yeah, general is general's slain, down. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Right, where are the enemy? There's there's the bit. Okay, 59. Okay, skirmishes I'm not too fussed about. If we can massacre this lot. You guys, do your thing. Kick ass to the nose. Okay, let's start annihilating them. Okay, they're gone. Oh, the shit, I mean to do that. There you go. Beaten. So, we lost this about 140 guys and annihilated about most of them. So, unfortunately, there are still a good portion of bad guys still alive. However, we have completely destroyed Victory! whatever... No, they're gone. Yes, yes, the wrathful has done me proud once again. Oh, lovely. Beauty. Decius the Wrathful. Who'd have thought? So, okay, so now that we've defeated yet another incursion onto our lands, we now need to start really thinking about where we want to go in this campaign. I think it would be a wise idea, first of all, annihilate that bastard fleet. They're gone. Sploosh. Victory! Did I lose a ship? No, I just didn't have another one. Defeated, Next turn, attacking Massilla. And we could really start reading in on their trade. Uh, okay, so. Uh, which is the most advanced city? I think. Yeah, this is the most advanced city we've got at the moment. So, construction. Oh, we could do with that, actually. Um, no, not that one. That one. Actually, I don't know. Do we have an armor in our... In Pavatium? Do we have an armor already? Nope, we don't have that one. Um, Arminium? Do we have an armor in Arminium? No, we have a blacksmith. We still need to build so much stuff in Arminium. It's crazy. Uh, Medalonium? We are currently working on an armor. Which isn't a bad idea. But I think... Yeah, we'd have to do something. But yeah, Medalonium is the most advanced place for when it comes to building stuff. We're still recruit. We're still recovering. We can't really build an army there. So, oh shit. That's why we have only three. All right, never mind then. Um, yeah, Principe army to be constructed. And so one, two, three. Oh, I think we need ten of these at least. Plus two of them. It's going to be a very expensive week for a mute. Um, because we haven't got a general, we're going to give them a couple of equites as well. I will find an army uh, commander to lead them down, but who though? I don't know. 
because this army is going to have to do one thing. Either one, go towards the Gallic lands and take them over, or knock out Carthage. So, it's going to be a big one. Um, let's end the turn then, shall we? I can actually build an alliance with a couple of the Macedonians. Um, okay, so Olbia still... St oh. Really? Really? I'm gonna have a I'm gonna recruit another Prince of Pay. Oh. They really want this town, don't they? But there's an army of three dudes. I'm intrigued. I, I really am. Alright, I'm gonna just quickly nip my general out to recruit some more. Oh, can I only have hoplites? Oh, I'll get pal fast. There you go. And in you go. Ha <laughs> ha! So, we are unprofitable by about 704. Um, Marcus, oh, Marcellus Julius. Amnius the Builder, which is quite nice. Uh, Aretium and Carolus are everyone's being retrained, so it's, this is good. The Gauls haven't been sighted for a while. This is encouraging. Um, I'm going to recruit a spy and retrain the next. Go a bit like that way. This is this is encouraging, definitely. Uh, I'm going to disband those guys and recruit some Equite. <sighs> Yeah, I was going to say, to be honest, I don't really think Cavalry Auxilia is going to be uh, any better, but, you know. That was my construction report doing. Arminium has built its stables, which is very good. And now I think what would be a good idea to encourage prosperity and uh, a little bit more peace. Hang on, what you say? Awesome. Awesome! Um, shipwright. I'd say shipwright, because then you get more trade. Um, where is my diplomat, by the way? There he is. Um, how many diplomats are going around? We've got a Greek. We got a We got a Macedonian. I'm gonna. Your honor, move depleted. Move depleted, sir. So, Carthaginia once again is being a douchebag, but. I am attacking the Gorlic docks. And there is an army there that's been there for ages. I imagine how much upkeep that's kicking into the in the to the oh, another bloody army, isn't it? Yes, master. I can't do that. Another sir. sodding Gorlic bastard army. Moving. How big is this one? We got two. Where the frick do these guys come from? Yes, master. And how the frick do the Gauls pay for this? I've got raider cavalry. I've got tons of warband. They are spamming me with all their infantry. We really need to start capping their settlements, don't we? Masil is the next target. This is what my new army is going to be doing. We're going to completely annihilate these wankers. Astarte. Did I sit on Astarte? I thought I did archers. Two archers. Yep. So one those guys. Plus... Equite. Two, two archers at least, plus Triarii. We're just building up an army now. On a more positive note, we are now in the ability to make... We are ha now do have the ability to construct armies and still have cash left over, which is quite nice. But that said, we are also building. So, um, what should I build on my next one? I think public baths would be a good idea for my next construction. So, two battles and the gold, the, the they're gonna lay siege aren't they? Or they're gonna head up north. I head north. Have they left? Oh the Gauls No they've left. They've actually left. My army is now safe. 
a Senate has wanted wants me to take the settlement of Massilla. This is intriguing, and I'd love to. They're actually profitable as well. Right, now that I've done that, withdraw. Get the hell out of Dodge. Popularity has gained with the Senate, which is quite nice. Communal farming. Ah, cool. Suggester's got some farmers now. This is good. Right. Uh, some bathrooms will be appreciated. The recruitment report. Our region is being built up. We have a spy. Medalodium now. At your service. We're going to send one spy out to just keep an eye out for the bloody Gauls. Sir. And, um... Honor. No and moves. this spy... Yes, will go master. and learn about as many of their settlements as possible and to learn what kind of armies they've got there. So this one, Lugdunum, which is uh, just as on top of um, the settlement of Massilla, currently is that. Okay, so I'm going to go... Yeah, so what I'm going to do is... When I'm, how I'm going to neutralize the Gauls is I'm going to knock out their ports. So knock out whatever port towns they've got. And then I'll head up north. Then I'll start heading up north. Because then their trading income will be severely impacted. And then they might start finally start not sending shit tons of armies. Because this is the biggest problem of all Gaulic people. Which is, they have so many Gaulic positions. I might depending on how good I am in... Oh, hello. Ah, yes! I'm going to retrain my uh, people. It, it's going to be an expensive <laughs> few weeks in my army, but what can you do? Apart from, you know... Okay, uh, what else? What's the chief? I think an arena, maybe? That, oh, no, blacksmith. Uh, I suppose an arena would be a good idea, because then not only are the people happy to have sea blood, they also are a little scared, which is a good thing. <clears throat> and we do have a port, which is lovely. And I can actually build a Byrene, but really what I'd like to build is a bigger and more bigger and better. Right. So, we have to also be extra careful because the Carthaginians may attempt to take over one of my ports, but... Right. Once this army has been completely re-equipped and retrained, I'm going to be sending them to engage in knocking out Massilla. The other army will move into position and start capping and doing awesome things. In fact, what I'm hoping, perhaps, I'm <clears throat> what I'm thinking on doing, is sending an army up north through Germany, or at least somehow, to knock out their other ports. If we can knock out the ports of Gaul, we'll definitely start impacting on their trade. Definitely, definitely. Anyway, um, in the meantime, however, let's save this and get ready for... I don't know how long this episode's been going for, but I reckon I'm coming up close to the hour. Uh, Carthage, Gaul, Armenia, Dacia... I want to get into better terms. The... Oh, don't you tell me the bloody guy's been... Right, end of turn. We are profitable by 3,000. Well, hey. And I have... Yay! Factions are now... Oh. Okay, so my diplomat has died a natural death, of course. What a coward. Um, anyway. So we're building the sewers. In the next turn, I want you to build a militia barracks, because... That's what you do. Pavatium has now got the ability to have people who can go to the bathroom and have a shower. Um, the next one I want you to build is an arena. Principe are uh, there. Melonium now has an armory, so we can now equip and re-equip an awesome, an awesome fire. Um, I don't really need these guys, so uh, 
uh, retrain the archers. I will replace the. I think I might replace these guys actually. Get rid of them. Give them. We have one, so one extra cavalry, and then I'll get like recruit another member of. Them. So two triarii. No, 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 two triarii. Start working on the camp. How are, those, how are the brute, how are the other Romans doing? Well, this is a little encouraging. The Romans here are doing well, and hey, the Brutii are doing something. Finally, yay! Oops. It's actually quite nice. We're actually doing something for a change. Shock. Okay, so we've been defeated on a multiple occasions, but we are now starting to kick ass, take names, and royally boot people. So, mm, it, it's doing the job, and the uh, Erlo. We've got an admiral there, and another admiral there. Lots of navy! But apparently the Carthaginians did have a very powerful navy. Ah, yes, right, okay, spy. I want you to infiltrate as much of Gaul as possible. Find out what they're doing. Secrecy is a show. Aha! Intriguing. There is another Gaulic army here. So, what I'm going to do now, in the, th the last few minutes of this episode, is just spend time researching and understanding where the enemy are and what they're doing. So, we are currently retraining our army here. And our minimum. Uh, that's a little. They will build that aqueduct. Lovely. Highways also will happen trade. Well, it's going to be expensive, but yeah, I'll I'll do that then. Right, another save. Hope you guys are enjoying this. It, there, there'll be day, there'll be episodes like this where I'll probably spend a lot more focusing on the financial and economical side of things, but oh come on, Julius, he's gone. Great. People are upset, understandably. So uh, let's bring in Hestati. Yeah, um, no, not Arena. Go for that. And um, possibly other bits. So Asculum now needs a better leader. End of turn report. We are not profitable. Our faction leader has died. Vibus the Great, who is up there now. He is now our commanding officer. And he's going to die relatively soon, which is major pain in the ass. Agents. No more news. Aritia, Principe. Yeah, the Gauls are going to go for that land now. Unless they're going to go for the Pavatium, which doesn't have much of a garrison. Um, it's a lot of dudes. Uh, yes, this going. Secrecy okay, cool. Is What's going on? Okay, there's another little reinforcement Vain. army over there. They've got Most armies the over here. At your service. Secrecy is a You see, their settlements mm. aren't very well guarded, but they've got tons of armies, which is intriguing. I suppose, in a sense, if I could, if I bolstered up the amount of infantry dudes. Hey, the plague's no longer here. Awesome. So, like I said, if I suppose if I bolstered up all the people in my armies, leaving barely two members to defend, I probably would have large armies as well. But I'm not really wanting to be positioned in an area where... That's a good idea, actually. Sir, I might just go and uh, put a to bullet tower here. Build tower. Move out. Out of move, sir. Build tower. Cool. So, in the next... Epi no, yeah, the next episode, because it'll take that long to move. Okay, so Asculum still needs to kind of 
build up a reinforcement queue. But in five turns, they'll be all right. Aretium isn't building anything. Intriguing. Armor. Okay, arena. Because the arena will definitely, definitely improve things. Because now we're gonna, gonna have. A, yes, I can. Very high rate of tax, which means more money. Uh, Pavatium is doing well. We'll be able to have baths in a second, and uh, after that, I will put in crop rotation, which means then. Um, Which will mean then that we'll have things sorted. At your service. And then I'm gonna see where their main settlements are. I reckon they're still I reckon they've got a number of settlements on the coastline which are gonna be using trade. So it's it's not gonna be an easy few turns, but right, one more save game before the last turn of the of this episode and we'll see what's happening. The Gauls once again have decided to lay siege to my settlement. What a surprise. Despicable Traveries. May his new masters. You asshole! Oh. Oh, that dick. Oh, that dick. I wanna freaking stab him. I have assassins. I am going to recruit two and I'm going to fucking kill both of them. Sorry. Oh, I want you to die, Gaul. Okay, we're profitable. Not by much, but profitable. Construction in Midlonium is completed now. This is very good. And uh, let's start building stuff in that. Okay, so they are there. Palatium. Don't need to worry too much about Things, but still, um, yeah, we still got Roman secrecy is assured. Okay, so in Aretium, we are building more and more people. Ascalon is still quite gurish about their population, even though I've got more dudes there. The problem is, I don't have any family members. What is going on with the family, by the way? Oh, come on, kids. Grow up. What are they? Four, one, one, eight, thirteen. Have kids! Running out of people. I want people to get married. Okay, have declared a ceasefire. I'd like that to happen with between myself and the Gauls, but I just hate them too much. Okay, returning and seeing if we can build anything. No, we can't. Okay, so I am going to end it for that. So, oh my God, this has been a frustrating and somewhat well, I do apologize for the amount of times I'm having to sally forth and defend against sodding attacks, but it would appear to be that our Gaulic counterparts are absolutely batshit desperate to attack and take over positions. I am actually now starting to um, gain re uh, to gain uh, a massive Romano army. So I will be starting to kick ass and retake um, settlements. I might build a ballista to help take over positions. But yeah, currently it is very, Im it is immensely frustrating because there is literally nothing I can do except wait for what seems like an inevitable age for us to be able to pick up the pace and attack again. So, yeah. But that said, we do have a large army now, and we will now start pushing towards taking Massilla, and then moving further up towards this settlement here, and then another army to take this settlement, because 
that's possibly another reason why the bloody Gauls are getting so much armies. If we can just take settlements and just nick at their defences, we can seriously destroy a good portion of their inf their money-making capabilities. And if that means their armies don't come as often, that means I can then start concentrating on the Carthaginians. Because if I take Carthage, who knows, maybe I might be lucky enough to take Carthage. And if that's the case, then, um, yeah, I, I'll happily secure Carthage and whatever other locations to remove them from the from, to remove Carthage as an enemy. Ah, the Numidians. See, if I if I sent a diplomat over to the Numidians, I could possibly get a good alliance with them. So let's have a look at the diplomacy. The Ju oh, we are enemies with lots of people. Oh no, we're at war with Numidia, of course. Um, they are we're allies with Dacia, which is quite nice. But they're also at war with the Macedonians. I'm not at war with the Macedonians, which is quite nice. Oh, bastards. They're at Egypt. They don't know the Gauls. They are enemies with lots of people, but they're friends with no one. This is a good thing. They are allies of the Gauls, which I had suspected. But that said also, Numidia is their foe, so the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And if that means I can send an send someone to say, hey, by the way, we're in war with the Carthaginians. The Numidians may allow us to become allies, and I may be able to get my armies into position and annihilate the Carthaginians. But that said, this all depends on whether or not I have enough time in the episodes to do so. However, on this occasion, not so. So, if you liked this kind of content, do let me know. Um, I am very frustrating, getting very frustrated at the, the bloody goals, but I will exact vengeance. I know I will. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. Touch wood. Anyway, so I'm going to head off skis. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. This is Crap Hunter, signing out.